what's going on elect of the Lord um, got a little something I wanted to get out um, this is gonna be about the dark side talk about that today cuz uh, you know we were born in darkness right born in uh, according to the flesh uh, natural life it's called darkness and because we didn't have knowledge of our God you know that's plain and simple right there you know that's plain and simple so let's let's try and simplify some things today because there's a lot of people uh, well this world itself think that they cool without without Jesus you know without the knowledge of God and Jesus is the the knowledge of the heavens, the knowledge of the Holy Father, Jesus Christ is knowledge of self. All the above, you know, is in Him. The way, the truth, and the life. There it is, right there in a nutshell. He's the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6 and 7. And uh, uh, I want to get this out because I know this will help somebody out there. Hold on, my shoe came untied again. Give me a second, yeah. And uh tie that up. Cause uh, uh the dark side is always you know it won't of course we know that's the devil's habitation. And uh he don't want none of us to escape none of us to get free so uh, you know that's where that desperation comes in we have to be desperate to uh, get free and stay free you know there's one thing to, to get free it's another thing to stay free you know just like a job you know I have conversations with people all the time I say it's one thing to get a job, it's another thing to keep a job, right? But some people can't even make it through the probationary period on a job, you know, 90 days. I mean, that might be easy for some folks, but many other folks it's not as easy, you know. And that's how our struggles would be, you know, like some people might struggle with smoking, some people might struggle with drinking, some people might struggle with temperament you know relationships so on and so forth so each of us got our own individual struggles right y'all just stay with me it's gonna make sense you know and uh uh we at war and i've done videos on that and uh we at war with the dark side you know the dark side wants to keep you a prisoner Cause you was born a prisoner you know into this world you know that's your uh psalms 140 i ain't i ain't really got my phone with me y'all but i believe that's psalms 142 verse 7 it says deliver my soul lord from prison and i will give you praise i will give thee thanks uh it's like talks about delivering our soul from prison our soul is in hell born in Hell's a prison, yes. And uh, uh, your natural life has a lie. Shows you really in a lot of ways where you are spiritually. What you're going through in your natural life has a lot to do with where you are spiritually. Okay? Alright, understand that. Uh, so, uh, so it's important to lock in to the to the frequency of Jesus Christ, your God, so you can know at all times where you at. Uh, if you went on a, uh, if you in His will, on if you on that good ground, you know. So you got to walk with Him and be in tune, be in harmony with your Lord and Savior. That's relationship. That's that fellowship. That's that prayer and being in communion with God. Because a lot of people, believe it or not, are just 
or just living out their natural life. And then they'll mention God, you know, in prayer or something they cooking, you know, or something like that. But God is, they, they life, their whole life is not in the hands of God. He wants your whole life to be in his hand. So it matters about your job, you know, where you work, the relationships that you're in. And some of y'all exclude the Lord. Like he don't need to be in this relationship. That's what that's where you get your triangle relationships and stuff. That's where your fornication comes in. Adultery comes in. Because you excluded the Lord. You know? You want that far off relationship with the Lord. And I'm talking about those who are doing it. That's what they're doing. You know, they mention the Lord uh, from time to time. But they relationship with him is estranged and it would children of Israel would come to the Lord at different times and and because they were not in a position for the blessings of God you know and the Lord would actually use that word he said they are strained from me he said shall I be inquired of uh, of you children of Israel well, we ain't sin Ezekiel tells you that a lot you know Ezekiel what chapter 13 chapter 14 uh, Jeremiah, several other places uh, among my people have found wicked men, so on and so forth. Uh, so I want to encourage uh, the people, you know, you listen to this video, to put all your life in the hand of the Lord, your job. Because you got to understand there's certain jobs you can't do. You can't be smell selling cigarettes, for example, lottery tickets, working in a liquor store. And you claiming the Lord and his salvation. You know what you do. Rep got to represent him. You know you might have to take a, a job. A pay cut. You might have to. Uh, you know what I'm saying. You might have to switch jobs. You might have to switch jobs. You know. And if they asking you to. Do some things that are not godly. You know. Making you making phone calls. Or. Uh, you harassing people on the phone. Insurance people do that. Make all these harassing phone calls. You know, you sticking people up basically over the telephone. You know, with harassment. That's not godly. But yet, you got people who do stuff. For example, like that. And yet, they'll claim salvation. Or they'll claim that they know Jesus Christ. Blah, 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 you know. You, know, you can't take people's word. I was having a conversation recently with this certain sister. And yeah, and I was telling her that because you can stop a hundred people on the street. And you can say, well, do y'all love Jesus? And of course they're going to say, yeah, unless they're a fool now. Unless they're a fool. And you got plenty of fools out here too. But for the most part, just like Christian, the Christian church or whatever. You ask any of them, well, do you love Jesus? Of course they're going to say yes. Because that's <laughs> because you're supposed to say yes with a question like that. Do you love Jesus? But remember the Bible said the people speak well of me. You know with their tongue they praise me. But Jesus said their heart is far from me. So that's where we need discernment. Yeah? You got to have discernment. You know spiritual maturity and discernment. That's what Paul was talking about in uh, Hebrews. What is that? Six? Five, five and six. You know, the strong meat belongs to those that are full of age. Strong meat. You know, that's where you got to be built up in the spirit. And it tells you that in Malachi too. Because God's sons, those that talk of him and speak well of him. Often the book was made for them, the Bible. That's uh, Malachi 3 verse 16 to 18. The Bible was made for the people of God. And it said that they can discern who serves God and who serves him not. See, see, that's where you, you, you grow up in, in the spirit, in the image and likeness of God. See, then you know who, who, who's who. You know what's up. Your discernment is on point. You in harmony. You on the right frequency. That's what the Lord wants with us. Jesus Christ was in the right place at the right time at all times in the earth he said I, what i always do those things that please my father john 8 29 
I always do those things that please my father. That's basically the point of this video right here. Because a lot of people's lives is living in hypocrisy. That's why when Jesus said when he come back, y'all already know what I'm going to say. Many be saying, Lord, haven't I done this in your name? Lord, haven't I done that in your name? Cast out devils. Haven't I, you know, uh, done many good works, wonderful works in your name? And then the Lord says, this is Luke 6. It's almost like verse 37 to 46. You know, Luke 6. He said, depart from me, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. You know? And again, uh, not being in harmony. So that's the purpose of this video. Too many are living on the dark side. Still in the dark side. You never launched out into the deep. See? You, that fear you got is a dark side. That's your enemy. That's the flesh. Okay? And uh, you scared to step out. Launch out into the deep. You scared to make videos. Yeah, you knew I was going to say that. Because I say that a lot. And, uh, you know, and a lot of y'all fight that. You know, and you'll splash your spirit. And everybody ain't got to make videos. But he calls you. And if you are in a uh, relationship with him, fellowship with him, he's going to build some t a ministry in you. You're going to have a prayer ministry or uh, something going on. And you can start it in your crib. You ain't got to be with a lot of people. You might, uh, I used to put it in the paper. The little, little uh, local paper. I had my, I had a phone set up. And, uh, and um, people would call a prayer line. And do you know that's rare? That is very rare. A prayer line. Because even the churches, the synagogues, and they belong to Satan. They don't even do that. They used to. I know y'all saying the other day. Have it on TV. But they beg you for they beg you for money too, for a donation and all that. And uh they don't even want to pray for you without no money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but I had a a prayer line uh, in the paper. You know, I had to pay, keep it going and stuff. You know, for people to call and stuff like that. And I had a lot of mostly crank calls and witches and stuff like that. You know, the dark side attacking. So I mainly had that. You know. Uh, but anyway, back on this, uh, the dark side, man, because we at war. We at war with the dark side. And again, the dark side don't want nobody to get free. You know, remember the Jesus' main goal said, to whom the Son is made free is free indeed. You know, and that's in the liberty of the Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Remember where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. You know, there's freedom. But that's harmony with your Heavenly Father. That's not separation. That's not following Him afar off. That's near Him. That's closeness to him that's relationship with him that's psalms 91 living in the secret place of the most high abiding under the shadow of the almighty god that's your habitation that's your refuge right there the lord becoming your refuge but that's a disciplined lifestyle i'm saying that uh that's a the, the, the disciples the word discipline comes from that word disciples and the lord Wants us to be his disciples, right? Right? So the discipline comes from that word. And I'm saying, now that, like I said, this video is to help somebody. Our main purpose is to is to be disciplined. The scriptures comes to give us self-control. Discipline. And this video gonna help me. I go back and listen to some, read my videos sometimes too. And I, I need to hear these words. And I build upon them. A lot of words that I say. And Great Lions videos. Or blessing I build and get revelation from pure words from the words of God and um, again that's why you don't be, need to be listening to all the hypocrites and liars and, and witches and um, Jezebels on YouTube and videos or wherever you get your information from the news the nightly news or whatever 